This farming life cast, where are they now? Throughout the last eight years, this farming life has served as a source of both entertainment and enlightenment, offering audiences a window into the demanding yet rewarding world of farming. With six seasons behind it, the show is preparing for its seventh season premiere in 2024. During its hiatus, fans have been eager for updates on the cast members, and we aim to provide recent updates on some of them. Emma Gray, one crucial cast member of this farming life, who earned immense fame through the show, is Emma Gray. Emma, a third-generation farmer and shepherdess, made her name breeding and selling sheepdogs. In the show, she appeared alongside her husband, Ewan Irvin, and her child, Len. The family of three lived together on Fallowley's farm in Morpeth, Northumberland, where they looked after 400 sheep and 30 cows. In addition to appearing in the show, she has also written a book called One Girl and Her Dogs, where she has shared her journey to Fallowley's farm and her everyday life. These days, Emma and Ewan spend most of their time on their new farm on the Isle of Butte, which is about seven times bigger than the previous ones. In addition, they have a YouTube channel, Our Farming Life with Sheepdog School, where they post videos related to training sheepdogs. Donald Fraser 38-year-old Dolan Fraser appeared in the show alongside his father, Donald Sr., and they worked together on the traditional hill farm, Farm Ness, five miles from Inverness. The father-son duo was immensely helped by Donald's wife, Joanna, a geography teacher, by bringing new ideas to the farm. Joanna wanted to sell their own produce by opening a farm shop, as their farm's location was very close to their main tourist route to Inverness. Unfortunately, Donald Sr. is no longer alive, as he took his last breath at just 70 in 2022. Now, Donald Fraser Jr. and his wife have been looking after their family farm after the death of the family's patriarch. David Gervin. David Gervin is Donald's older cousin and has a keen interest in farming. In the show, he worked on their Coromany farm alongside his wife, Barbara. He was passionate about stabilizer cows, which are a composite breed of Red and Black Angus, Geldvi, and Simmental. David's wife, Barbara, was new to the farming world but was really smart and used to bring many ideas to expand their farming business. During her appearance on the show, Barbara wanted to grow over 3,000 pumpkins on their farm and was thinking of selling them as part of the biggest Pick a Pumpkin event. She also dreamed of launching her own wildflower business from the farm. It looks like Barbara has finally achieved her dream as she is now selling wedding flowers and calls herself a flower farmer. In addition, she has held a pumpkin picking event, which seems highly successful. Sean Cursiter. Although Sean was comparatively younger than other farmers in the show, he was passionate about farming. He appeared alongside his father, Michael, and uncle, Martin, who co-owned the family farm, Lager Farm, on the west of the mainland in Orkney. As his father and uncle were working actively on their farm, Sean patiently waited for his turn. However, he hasn't stopped working as he wanted to do something of his own. Just like David, Sean was also passionate about stabilizer cattle and was dedicated to preserving the natural beauty of the Orkney countryside. According to some online sources, he now has his own farm business at Warwick and has focused on improving the farm and breeding sustainable low-input livestock. Andy and Christine Love Andy and Christine Love, from the Love family, worked with the daughter Kaylee on the dairy farm, Bridge of Aird Farm, just outside Stranra. They always tried their best to maximize their returns from the dairy herd by selling milk directly to the locals by cutting the middleman. In the show, they milked 130 cows with the help of their one tractor man, who did most of the field work. As they were on a mission to expand their business, they diversified their milk production into pasteurizing and bottling their own milk. Ronnie Black. Ronnie Black is perhaps the most experienced cast member of this farming life. He has been raising horses and sheep for more than 60 years and currently runs a mixed farm, Kalesi Farm, in the East Nuke of Fife alongside his sons Pete and Mike. While Mike focuses on Suffolk pedigree sheep, Ronnie and Pete focus on their Clydesdale horses. Ronnie learned all of his skills from his father and has promised to preserve the legacy of his Clydesdale horses. While there are no recent updates about Ronnie and Mike, Pete has now been working as a pet food delivery driver. His Instagram profile shows that he is working as a farmer at Kalesi Feeds.